Thou shalt not be idle or lazy, or thy flesh will become weak and bear down thy soul. Thou shalt not envy nor harbor hatred against any man or woman or child. Thou shalt not reprove any man or woman for their evil, for they are the creators. Thou shalt reprove thy own child and teach him the right way. Thou shalt not lie with thy wife during pregnancy. Thou shalt not take to wife any of thy kin except beyond the fifth generation. Thou shalt not take to wife a woman of unclean habits. Thou shalt not commit the self-habits. Thou shalt not desire of thy neighbor more than thou wast give. Thou shalt fast one day of the fourth moon all thy life, neither eating fish, nor flesh, nor bread, nor fruit, nor anything but water shall enter thy mouth. One whole year of thy life thou shalt dwell with the poor, live with the poor, sleep with the poor, begging for alms for the poor. Book of God's Word, chapter 12, verse 1 through 10. God said unto Zarathustra, the all-pure, Three cats have I made. The first are the irons, sacred above all other people, because they keep my commandment. Second, the Ahuins, more powerful, created I them than other people, because by them I will subdue the earth. And third, the drunks, the evil people who will not learn. God said to Zarathustra, the all-pure, Remember the cast of men. Keep thy blood in the place I created thee. Nor shall thou marry but in the cast I created thee. God said, A thousand casts I created amongst the Ahuins, the king, the doctor, the musician, the priest, the farmer, the bearer of burden, the messenger, the swift-footed, and for all other occupations under the sun. Each and all within their own cast created I them. Nor shall they marry but in their cast I created them. Zarathustra responded to God, saying, I will keep thy commandments, thy seventy commandments, and seven hundred and seven thousand. I will preserve sacred the cast thou hast created, O Ahumazda. I will teach these holy truths to my children, to my servants, and unto all men. Then God wrote all the commandments as here above, and he stooped down and kissed the books, which they were of stone and of cloth, saying, This is my holy book. Take it, O Zarathustra, though all pure, and go, though forth into all the world, teaching it and explaining it. Then Zarathustra, the all pure, stooped down and kissed the book, saying, This is thy holy book, O God. I take it, and I will go into all the world, teaching it and explaining it. Thus was completed the first sacred, most holy book created for mortals. And Zarathustra rose up from his writings, tall and handsome, and crying of Ahumazda, saying, Whether shall I go first, O master? Then answered Ahumazda, God, creator of the Ahumazdian law, the Zarathustrian law, saying, Take my holy book, the Ahumazdian law, the Zarathustrian law, first to Asha, king of the Ahuins, king of Oz, the city of the sun. Him have I prepared for thee and thy work since the day of his birth, the day I spoke to him in his infancy. Book of God's Word, chapter 12, verse 16, 17, 19 through 21, verse 16. Then answered Zarathustra, saying, Through my hand hath God written the most holy book, explaining many philosophies. This book have I brought unto thee according to the commandment of my God. Read though it, verse 17. Then the king took the book and read it. And on the next day Zarathustra came again before the king. The king said, Thy book saith thus and so. But it proved little, that God assert he hath done thus and so, and that he created thus and so. First of all, then I know not if there be a God. Second, if there be a God, I know not that he cometh to thee. And third, if he come to thee, and he be a just God, why he come not to me? And yet, after all this, for I doubt not thy wisdom, will I give sufficient answer to these questions, if it be true there are gods unseen that rule over us and spirits of the dead that come to us, persuading our souls unconsciously to ourselves. What matter it whether we try or not to obtain truth and wisdom? Shall not all things be left to the spirits and gods and lords? Know though not that the ancients believed these things? Verse 12. Then spoke God to the king, speaking through the voice of Zarathustra, saying, Hear thy God, O king, and be considerate of my words. 
There are two births unto all men. The first is from the mother's womb, and the second is from the corporeal body, or the physical body. Prior to the first birth, the will and power of the child is nothing as to shaping its own destiny. But prior to the spirit birth, which is the mortal death, the man hath much to do as to shaping his future destiny in the next world. Verse 20. I declare unto thee, O king, that the corporeal man, the physical man, is therefore but half accomplished as to his real life. He is but half his own master, but half the controller of his place and behavior in the mortal world. Nevertheless, he is the first half, the first chooser. Think not that the spirits and gods rule men as if they were slaves or toys, for another power also lies over man, which is neither spirit nor gods, nor stars, nor sun, nor moon, but the corporeal surroundings that feed his earthly desires. Verse 21. This is the Almasdian law, the creator's law, not the corporeal stars or corporeal earth or corporeal moon or corporeal man ruled over the spirit, but the subtile, the unseen to mortals is the cause and ruler of all things. Book of God's Word, chapter 13, verse 5, 6, 10 through 13, and verse 20. Verse 5 states, The king said, Though reasons well, and yet, what learned good man has though found who will not say? Yeah, to do good is a pretty philosophy, and there end his aspiration. What then can those say that the words will not be bearing a fruit? Verse 6, God said, Thou art this day king of all the world, nor is there any other kingdom but pay thee tribute. Whatsoever thou desires is as a law unto all other nations. For that reason am I come unto thee, yea, thou were born to this end. Hear then the voice of thy God, and thou shalt do that which is good for thy soul and good for all other people. Verse 10. Asha said, What would thou have me do? To which God said, With the people thou hast great authority, great authority than a God, greater than miracles. Thy decreed are all powerful. Thou shalt have a copy of this book written on stone and cloth, one copy for every sub-kingdom in thy dominion. And thou shalt send it to them with the sword and a serpent, saying to them, Receive ye this book, for it is a holy book, the all-highest law, God's law, the Zarathustrian law, the Creator's law. And it shall be a rule and a guide unto you and your kingdom forever. And every king in the kingdom of the Son shall serve one year in living with the poor, carrying alms bowls for sacrifice unto the Creator. Verse 11. And when thou hast sent this decree forth into all the world, thou shalt thyself give up thy kingdom, and thou shalt give to the poor all thy gold and silver and castes, and all thy treasures, whatsoever, having nothing left unto thyself but the clothes that cover thee. And thou shalt go and live with the poor, carrying the alms bowl thyself in the streets of Os. And of the food thou gathers in the bowl, thou shalt give the choicest parts to the poor, saying, This is the sacrifice of the many given unto thee. Eat ye of it, for it is the very body and blood of the Creator, Amaz, our Father in heaven. But the poorest of all that is in the bowl shall be thy portion. Verse 12. At the end of one year, thou shalt go about preaching the Creator's law, commanding the secession of war and the abandonment of evil and the acceptance of righteousness. Verse 13, the king said, what can thou promise me if I do all these things? Then God suffered Zarathustra to answer him. He said nothing. Did the creator ask thee before he made the world? If thou desires to approach the creator, do thou like unto him. Nor is it my place, nor the angel's place, nor the place of God to promise thee anything. Thou art not my servant, and thou shalt serve only the master, all light, Jehovah. Verse 20, Asha said, I am done. Thy judgment is greater than mine. All thou hast commanded of me, I will do. From this time forth, I will serve only Omaz, the creator, thy God. Thy God, O Zarathustra, shall be my God. Thy way shall be my ways. Henceforth, I will argue forever on the side of the creator. And touching all matters, I will first ask myself what I shall say that would be like thy God would say. And what I shall do that will fulfill the Omazdian law, the creator's law. Book of God's Word, chapter 14, verse 1 through 11. The enforcement of the Almazdian law, the Creator's law. Verse 1. Asha, king of Os, the city of the sun, king of the sun, ruler over the whole corporeal world, owner and possessor of all mortals, men and women and children, 